Um, here. I want to talk Denise? About, about you. How many of you have uh, visited physicians for the last few years? One case, two doctors. Visited a physician? No, physician, doctor. Years. Most of you, right? And in how many cases you have to be treated for very specific disease? Right, you came. So our health care is, as we all know, sick care. And it functions in a reactive way. You got sick, you go, you see a doctor, and they treat your disease. How much do they know about you? Do they know that um, your ancestors came from Europe? Do they know that you were caring for the sick family member and you were stressed for a long time, or you had some other things in your life, socioeconomic, your dietary, your exercise? They have no idea, or they don't take that into consideration when they treat you. They treat your symptoms. They treat your specific disease. Imagine you come to your physician, and they know that you've been in the military, that you lived for extensive period of time in a country where there was huge pollution problems, or for some reasons you had some other stressors in your life. They know about your socioeconomic status, diet, exercise. They know a lot about you, so they can actually tell, you know what, people with similar type of situation got more probability of getting sick with this, this, this. And here's the things you can do to prevent this happening to you. By the way, I'll give you treatment, but considering what you're doing with your life, if you change certain things, if you move, if you start exercising or other things, your treatment might be more effective. Or your outcomes will improve, based not just on your clinical stuff, but everything else that's happening that impacts causation, um, treatment and outcome of diseases. So that's where we come, you know, that's our concept. So we want to create a huge repository of non-clinical data that everyone will be able to use to understand your probability prevention measures specific to you, because they all are different. The same people with the same type of um, characteristics get, some of them get sick, some of them don't. Some of them die, some of them uh, leave. And we have no clue why this happens, right? Because we have zero knowledge, zero. Today, we have zero knowledge about the state of, um, of the person. We're not treating patient, because we don't know what patient is, right? So um, how did I come to uh, building this platform? We're starting with cancer, so the company name is Open Cancer Network. So a year ago, um, almost exactly a year ago, uh, I had the surgery. And it was a cancer surgery. I suddenly was like, no way. I never smoked. I always exercised. I didn't have any symptoms, right? So I always get healthier. I cook from scratch organic foods, right? Right? And um, so um, you go through all those phases, right? You can't talk about it, then you accept the fact. Then you start asking questions. So, you know, I'm meeting with oncologists and people, and I'm like, okay, I get it, I have it, I'll deal with it, but why, right? Why, why me? Why me? And uh, we have real amazing oncologists in, at Stanford, and um, they said, well, we don't know. And I said, how come we don't know? Well, we don't have data. We don't have data about patients to really understand why certain mutations happen in certain cells of certain people. We focused on genetic engineering and stuff, which is very important, but how many of you know how many new cancer cases uh, we have in the U.S. every single day? Any guesses? 5,000 a day. And um, World Health Organization just released the report, it's a disaster that's happening. In, in the next 10 to 20 years, they see cancer rates increasing by 
It's a human disaster. That's in the report that came out, was in CNN. No one knows why. Most of the cancers are not genetic in nature. Mine wasn't. 80, about 75, 80% of cancers, they are not genetic in nature. In, in what we can do to change that, right? So we, what we're building, we're building this um, uh, real, I think, unique way of gathering enough information about patients so we can start answering those questions. Look at autism, look at Parkinson's, look at the, I mean, what is happening around us? I grew up, I didn't know what autism was. Every, like, one in five children gets autism this day. So something is going on with everything, right? Um, so uh, we, we build um, the social network that will go um, live um, in App Store uh, within a short period of time. And uh, we will connect uh, the whole ecosystem of players within the cancer space, uh, patients, physicians, um, researchers, friends and family. And ideally, I want everyone to start using it because we will be analyzing your interactions. We will be asking to um, uh, answer, answer certain questions. So when we have been working with the top cancer epidemiologists in a space. We created a very unique questionnaire because no one collects that data, right? And because we built, I think, best in class, it's a combination of like Twitter and Facebook and all the, you know, real great ways for uh, the whole ecosystem to communicate. We'll be able to analyze interactions so we can analyze your state of mind, your patterns. We'll get enough data about you self-reported and from all the different devices, right? Then we correlate that data with um, data that we're getting from CDC, EPA, we have over 50 different pipelines and other sources of social media data. So we have this massive multi-dimensional data sets that we provide to researchers, data scientists, all the specialists, so we can start answering all those questions. And by, by looking at the patterns, looking at the interactions, we also can proactively tell your family that, you know what, there are certain troubling patterns we see you might want to you know, check on this person. Again, this is all permission-based, of course. But um, this is our goal. And again, um, we will be expanding on cross diseases because most of us don't have just one thing. We have more than one. And I'm sure a lot of data will support that you know, causation or impact of certain things are kind of cross-dimensional. And we will improve even if we can prevent you know, 1%, 2% of the cases or increase probability for people to uh, not die. I think there will be a big impact. And of course, um, there are many other aspects and many other values that we're bringing to the whole community, to the patients. Because you would be surprised. I interviewed so many oncologists. And one of the key things is lack of information. So we will be providing highly personalized, because we, we will know your type of cancer, your stage, what type of treatment you're getting, your social economics. So everything that we'll be providing you in terms of content will be highly relevant. You will be able to connect to very relevant content, very relevant people, very relevant clinical trials, and things that actually will impact your life. So um, if you want to learn more, uh, welcome to um, talk to me. You can Google my name. You can find me everywhere. And um, um, hopefully you'll start using our app when it goes live in App Store. Thank you.